This is 7 National News and in our top story, the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has today announced that the name of the UAE's Mars probe will be HOPE or Al Amal in Arabic. Revealing details about the mission, His Highness stated that as Sheikh Zayed was the hope of the UAE and the UAE is the hope of the region, our generation is the hope of the Arabs and Muslims, hence the name of the probe. With more than 70%, 70 Emirati scientists and engineers taking part in the project, the UAE Mars mission is expected to travel 200 days at a speed of 126,000 kilometers per hour on a 600 million kilometer journey. With the technical stage complete, the team will now move into the design and testing stage. The spacecraft is expected to gather and send back to Earth more than 1,000 gigabytes of Mars data, with its objective to advance knowledge of the atmosphere and climate on Mars. The number of Emirati scientists and engineers working on the mission is expected to reach 150 by 2020. His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, Supreme Council Member and Ruler of Sharjah, has directed the Sharjah Electricity and Water Authority to launch a Power Consumption Hour initiative. As part of the initiative every year beginning July 1st, people will be asked to shut off all non-essential power consuming devices between 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., an hour when demand for electricity increases and loads reach peak levels. The initiative is aimed at raising awareness about the importance of the optimal use of energy and reducing carbon emissions by shutting down unnecessary devices and electronic gadgets, as well as paying attention to periodical maintenance. According to Emirates news agency WAM, SIWA officials indicated that all government and private departments are being rallied to achieve the objectives of the initiative, which will contribute towards rationalizing power consumption in the Emirate. According to a report in a local daily, Indonesia will stop sending new domestic workers to 21 Middle Eastern countries after the recent execution of two Indonesian women in Saudi Arabia. The ban affects countries including Saudi Arabia, which is a major destination for Indonesian maids, as well as the UAE, Qatar, Bahrain and Egypt, and will come into effect in three months' time, with a new move meant to be permanent. The report, which quoted officials from the country, added that maids already working in the affected countries will be allowed to stay and continue in their positions. In line with the ongoing commitment to engaging the community through sustainable initiatives, earlier today, Majid al Futaim, in partnership with the UAE Ministry of Health and City Center Clinic, has launched a regional health awareness platform. The initiative will help raise awareness on cardiovascular health with a special focus on women in the UAE and the wider region from May 8 till June 7. The theme of the campaign, Feel the Beat, was chosen as it refers to the sound of heartbeat, while also referring to music, which can be a great companion when it comes to getting motivation in adopting a healthy lifestyle and exercising. The initiative will offer preventive heart health testing for women across its 14 shopping malls in five countries. According to the CEO of Majid al Fatim Healthcare, Omar Shinnar, cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in the developing world with hypertension and diabetes being the most common risk factors, obesity, inactivity, smoking habits and poor dietary choices with high consumption of snacks, fatty food, sugar and fast food are also risk factors. Education and awareness campaigns are crucial in the Gulf region to manage the risk of cardiovascular disease. We as Majid al Fatim, we always like to cross the boundaries when it comes to shopping. We're not only a shopping destination, so we are beyond that. So the experience is about having all the services uh, for the customers when they come to the mall. So the idea came in 2009, growing, developed. Uh, so today we have it in like five countries, uh, Beirut, which is Lebanon, uh, Egypt, uh, Oman. Bahrain and the UAE definitely. It's about like preventive uh, tests we do. It's creating small clinics in our uh, shopping malls uh, 
to serve the community, to serve the customers and uh, to check their health. Dubai police have announced plans to equip its officers with wearable cameras similar to policing authorities in the UK and the US. The cameras will record conversations between officers and members of the public and could be used should there be complaint against a, a police officer or if there is a dispute about a fine. The lightweight cameras, which can record up to eight hours, will also transmit data to the, an independent mobile server and then back to the police headquarters. And according to Major General Hamis Mataramzena, the Commander-in-Chief of Dubai Police, the data cannot be manipulated or tampered with. Alimzena also explained that the purpose of the cameras is to gauge the service of Dubai Police in dealing with the public and to improve transparency. And smart palms have started the providing beachgoers free wireless internet access for the first time in Dubai. The stations, which are shaped like palm trees, also display information on Dubai's attractions, weather and other topics and can be used to quickly charge mobile phones and tablet computers as well. The Dubai municipality recently installed them on the beach next to Burj Al Arab and plans to cover all open public beaches in Amamza, Jumeirah and Umm Suqim. In April, the stations also started sprouting in public parks. According to the municipality, each smart palm can support 50 users at a time over a radius of 53 meters. Stations can also display updates on events and activities on the beach and serve a, as public announcement system. They also show beach rules, guidelines, tips and sea conditions. And each smart palm runs entirely on its own solar power source and lights up at night for an aesthetic look. Commenting on the initiative during the unveiling at the end of last month, Hussein Lota, the Director General of Dubai Municipality, stated that the project is in line with the transformation of Dubai into a smart city. And finally in the bulletin, if the Arabian travel market isn't enough to whet your appetite for travel, the Tourism Authority of Thailand has hosted the 2015 Discover Thainess campaign in Dubai to introduce a range of new products and services catered to the Arab market. Addressing industry professionals and leaders from all over the Middle East, Thailand's Minister of Tourism and Sports, Her Excellency Kop Karn Awatana Vrankul, stated that Discover Thai's campaign is based on the theme of the Thai experience, Thai way of life, and Thai culture, and is looking to attract first time and repeat visitors to explore Thailand's new destinations and experience the Thai way of life through its people and culture. Event organizers said that the visitors from the UAE, Qatar and Kuwait enjoy the green season of the monsoon months in July and August in Thailand and all their destinations, attractions and activities are tailor-made to meet the demands of this market. According to Thai officials, Thailand remains a popular destination to many Arab travelers as it is the second most Muslim-friendly tourist destination among members of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC. As part of its wider campaign in the Middle East, the Tourism Authority has recently concluded a series of roadshows in Kuwait, Qatar and Bahrain to focus on med medical tourism, green tourism, gastronomy, tourism and shopping activities. 2015, we are looking for the Discover Thailand for Amazing Thailand. It is like uh, what the meaning of the Thailand that you just no, for the some word of Thai Lai, uh, it means happy and welcome for you to, to Thailand. And we think this one I can show you uh, about uh, uh, Thai way of life, yes, uh, Thai um, culture and uh, Thai experience something for, let, for the people in your area will uh, uh, know about the, the product of Thailand and like to, to try to uh, visit our country.